To adjust your truss rod, you really only need four things. You need the Allen wrench that came with your guitar, or one that you bought that's the right size, a Phillips head screwdriver or a flathead screwdriver to remove the truss rod cover, and this would be sitting right here, just like this, underneath the strings, and the little screw holds it in. And then a mechanics roller that measures up to 30 seconds of an inch. And then lastly, a capo. The capo isn't fully necessary, but it does make the process a lot easier. And I'm going to dive right in right now. So I have the capo sitting across the second fret. And I'm going to take my mechanics roller and measure from the crown of the eighth fret, which is right here. So what you want to do is take the roller and slide it against the string like this. And then you want to press down on the 16th fret with your index finger or on your other hand. And then you want to measure how high the string is off of the crown of the fret there. The standard rule of thumb with this is if the gap when I press down on the 16th fret is smaller than a business card or about you know, 0.330 seconds, which it definitely is right now, then the guitar has a forward bow. So when the guitar has a forward bow like that, it means it has too much relief and we need to adjust the truss rod because uh, right now I'm not getting any fret buzz but in, in the not too distant future I'm sure that some of these frets around here will start to fret out because the bow is going to affect the way that the guitar plays. So we need to take the truss rod allen wrench and turn it counterclockwise. To get the truss rod adjustment tool over the truss rod knot you just simply slide it in just like that and you always want to do this under tension under the tuning that you're going to be playing so most of the time i keep my guitar in standard tuning um, so i have this in standard tuning right now now to turn it counterclockwise i'm just going to give this a small eighth turn and i know in particular that this guitar is a dual action truss rod um, because Paul Reed Smith makes this model as a dual action. But in general, Paul Reed Smiths are pretty sensitive when you go to adjust them. So it's one of those things that you're going to have to get a feel for your specific guitar that you're working on. Because some truss rods are much more sensitive than other ones. This one in particular I know is very sensitive, so I gave it a, an eighth of a turn instead of the standard quarter turn. And you're going to want to let the guitar sit for a while and let that adjustment percolate and maybe in five minutes or so come back and check it. So I've let the adjustment sit now and I tested the string height again and it's pretty good. It's just about where I would want it to be um, and the thing about adjusting the truss rods is they can be kind of finicky. You can sometimes do a quarter turn counterclockwise and then all of a sudden you come back and look at your guitar and now it's got a back bow that's a pretty extreme back bow and you may have to do you know maybe a half turn the other direction it just depends on your guitar it depends on the humidity and the weather and the conditions and um, how long that it's been since your previous adjustment so one of the things that makes adjusting a truss rod is so difficult is just because there are so many things that really boil down to feel and personal preference. Um, one quick trick that I wanted to show you guys too is I have a uh, piece of cardstock here that's about the depth of a business card and if you don't have one of these rollers, really for the most part, I never use this adjusting the truss rod. I, I, I'm at the point now where I know my guitar is well enough that I do it by feel, um, but if you have some cardstock or something that's like a business card, what you can do is go to that eighth fret and then see if it'll slide underneath there and as i slide this underneath there i can feel that it's touching a little bit so it's there's some resistance but if i get it just right it would slide under 
and I like my strings to be very close to the frets. Um, I think that it's it's my personal preference for playing. Um, so it really depends on what you want, and you're going to want to adjust the truss rod either counterclockwise to get rid of relief if it's bowed this way, or clockwise if you have a bow that's more of an arch. If you guys have any questions, um, just be sure to post them in the Facebook group. Um, if you have something that's really specific or something that you can't figure out, if you can, upload a short video of it because it'll be a lot easier to see what is actually going on and then I'll be able to give you a more direct answer to hopefully solve whatever problem that you might be having with that. So from here, if your string height is good, um, in the, the next part of the video I'm going to jump into string height where you will need a mechanics ruler like this. Um, but if your string height is good and your guitar feels good and plays the way that you want it to play, then you're done. You're done with the setup. You don't need to do anything else above and beyond that. Um, and again, if you have any questions, just post them in the Facebook group.